My name's Ian Holloway, fighting out of Huntington Beach Fight Club, and I'm gonna be fighting on the February 18th Fighters Rep Card versus Trevor Blakesley. I know my opponent. <laughs> um, I know his gym. Uh, I know he's gonna come forward. I know he's not gonna quit, even if he gets hurt. I know he's gonna wanna press the pace. I'm gonna press the pace, it'll be my pace. I'm not the one to try to build a name off of. I want this because that feeling of being at the fight and everything I said I was gonna do is on the line and I gotta prove it now in front of my family, my friends, and to my opponent and let him know, dude, you ain't the one, like it's me. I really don't care what anybody says to me. I believe I'm that 1%. And so until I get knocked off, <laughs> I'm gonna continue to act and perform like the 1%. So that's what I'm gonna do February 18th. So I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, that's the city, the city I love. But I've grown up pretty much in Orange County all my life. I moved from Philly around like four, so I have a lot of family from there, so go and visit every once in a while. And ever since then, I've been out in Orange County and uh, grown up here and had a, had a lot of experiences out here. So I have my family, I have my older sister, my dad, my mom. Uh, they're all smart, educated people, multiple degrees very very competitive we all want to smoke with each other we all want to be the best that we can be and i'm trying to be the best out of my family so i got to do something special i got to be grateful for the different experiences that i've been able to go through in life all the result of my parents hard work so i give it up to them and i've seen that work ethic coming from philadelphia and using that philadelphia inner city mentality and how they've been able to survive and thrive and so i take that mentality and i put that into the ring and then I put that little Orange County flavor on top. So that's just my different swag. So a little Ian was um, a star, like in the essence that he always wanted to show himself off. He's always talking too much, getting in trouble in class, being talkative. He wanted to do speech and debate. He wants to be Michael Jackson and do all the different dances, singing in choir. I wanted to be creative in any way. So my parents ended up putting me in Taekwondo. I clearly needed some discipline because, you know, like I said, I wanted to be the star and wanted to do whatever. So I got that discipline from Taekwondo. That was my very first sport, did that. Then football, love, fell in love with lacrosse, did lacrosse for a little bit. And then out, out of that, I had nothing to do and fell back in love with the sport that I started off with. I just wanted to work out because I wasn't happy with my body. I wasn't being healthy mentally or physically. So I was just working out, gaining weight. So I'm like, let me get back to doing Taekwondo. So I started doing Taekwondo again. And I met a kid named Milshawn Lathan. And we're on the same thing, working out, playing basketball at 24. And we both ended up wanting to fight. We take our separate paths, I'm doing Taekwondo. And I post a video on my Instagram and my boy Mills tells me to keep my hands up and that I needed to come to his gym. And so I did that and came and met Johnny. And Johnny has been one of the best people ever. I'm so grateful to have met him. Johnny has brought in other people and one of those people happened to be in Corey. And me and Corey just happened to align in a different way. Like I said, I like to have a balanced type of mentality. You know, I get that from my mom and my dad. And I feel like Johnny reminds me of my dad and Corey reminds me of my mom and my artistic side. My first competitive fight was May 2020. It was different because I was trying to become more physically superior. I wasn't as big as I am now, super skinny. I remember I came with the all gray polo jumpy, shirt down a little bit, the Gucci chain on, the Gucci cologne, just feeling myself. I was like, I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna knock this dude out. The first round happened. Everybody's there. It's all of our first fights. We haven't done any of this. And I just remember just trying to win and just like trying to breathe and then was able to get it stopped a little bit early in the third round. And I just remember being so like that star feeling. And when I say that star feeling, it's not like, oh, I feel like I'm the biggest star in the world. It's like, no, that energy source. Like, and I just felt that energy like, oh, I gotta show this. Like I gotta, I just gotta do better. I gotta do better, man. So I've done two fights for Pfizer's Rep so far and I got connected with them. I saw them on Instagram trying to get on them with like one and oh, hitting up George, hitting up everybody, trying to get on the fight in their DMs. Like, yo, I just got another win. I'm two and oh now, like, please, like, 
get me on the fights, like begging, begging to get on there. I remember they were looking for a 45, or I've never weighed 45 pounds in my life. And I was like, dude, like, please, like, I want to fight for you guys. And then now I'm fighting the guy who's, you know, coming off a loss, wants to get it back. He's been in the game longer than me. People think is more of a dog than me. They think he's a bad man. They think he's the come forward dude, the boogeyman. I need one. I need a strap. I'm the best under 130 for sure. I think a dominant win over Trevor Blakesley is what I need to get me, you know, that title shot. My prediction is it's gonna be a clash of styles. I'm coming out on top for sure. I'm not the one to come get a bounce back win against. They know me, they've seen me fight, but they want me and I'm gonna give them every last bit of me. Hey Trevor, thank you for taking this fight and thank you for taking this L on February 18th. You messed up taking this fight. You're getting them back to back. You're not getting a bounce back against me. I'm not letting this O go away. I'm sorry. I respect you and I respect your gym. And I know you're working your ass off, but I'm working my ass off too. And guess what? I hope you're working harder than me because it doesn't matter. February 18th, I'm going to win. Thank you. Thank you.